Lauren Mitchell and I'm going to go over my editing and post-processing uh, for harsh lighting conditions which is something that I shoot in very frequently living in Florida it's always extremely sunny very bright and um, yeah I don't really know any other type of light anymore because I'm just always used to shooting in this really extreme light so um, before I go into editing, I just wanted to say really quickly that um, with, mo with all the instructors at the Documentary Approach, including myself, our focus really is on keeping the image, the final image, pretty much tr true to life um, and really focusing on getting everything that we need to get right in camera just because our priority is observing the moment and you know not interfering or manipulating a scene we just want you know the subject to basically do what they're gonna do look how they're gonna look and we're just there to kind of take the you know the essence of that moment of that emotion of whatever's going on and capture that without interfering um, that's pretty much you know the the basis of uh, the documentary approach so I say that just because you know when it comes to these tricky lighting situations we're not necessarily well it's not even necessarily we're not here to take you know tricky lighting and try to find ways to flatter the subjects we're just here to tell the story as it is um, no matter what the light looks um, on you know in the moment because um, it should really you know we should find ways through you know um, color subject separation composition um, moment emotion things like that to take the viewer away from just seeing the light for the light itself um, so now I will go into the editing part which is why I'm really doing this video. <laughs> okay, so here we go. The first thing that I'm going to do is fix that crooked horizon because I am a crooked shooter. So just to make sure, I'm going to take this little guy and see it's already crooked. So I'm not a good... Um, not a good judge there for a perfectly straight line but that's okay so I think we're good here and then as far as white balance goes this is a little bit cool just slightly um, cooler than I want so what I'm gonna do is do go to auto first which is gonna make it really warm that's way too warm for what I want so what I do is I take the eyedropper and hit a neutral in this case I went in with the cloud and this is good um, maybe I'll just kind of tweak it a little bit see which way I kind of like it to go and I like just a little bit cooler but see it's up around 6,000 and I think the original was like 5,100, 5,300 so it's um, it's warmer but it's not too warm and I tend to be a, um, I tend to edit a little bit on the cooler side but it's still pretty close to what it was um, straight out of the camera so the next thing I'm gonna do is apply my preset and I do um, use presets I go between um, Visco's Portra 400 push one stop and Mastin's Portra 400 push one stop but lately I've been using Mastin a lot so I will go ahead and use that as you can see it right out of the gate it's extremely contrasty and it does not look good at all the one thing that um, I noticed with Mastin's sky like they tend to make the sky look really cyan with this particular um, Portra 400 so I'll go in and tweak those colors in just a bit but before I do that I'm just gonna bring the contrast down to something that's more realistic and then I'm just going to bring the highlights down, bring the shadows up, which is what I also tend to do with um, Visco. I'm going to 
but my clarity. So in either way, if I'm using Portra, I mean, if I'm using Visco or if I'm using Mastin, I always tend to, well, with, with Visco, I'll bring my contrast up. With Mastin, I usually bring the contrast down. But in either case, I bring down highlights, bring up shadows, and boost my clarity just a little bit. So now it's starting to look a little bit more true to life. And now I'm going to go down to the color panel and fix that blue sky, just make it a little bit more regular blue. Which you don't have to go far to fix, but it is a difference between having it look like that and bringing it back to that blue, closer to that blue color that it was. And you can see that was the original. Even though the white balance is still a little bit cooler, you can see that blue sky. Um, I might even just bring it down just a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. And I'm also going to fix those reds just a little bit here and here and bring my saturation down for the orange just a little bit and bring the luminance down for the red so that this becomes a little bit um, darker than it was before. A little bit less kind of a washed out red. I want it a little bit more intense without it being um, overly saturated red. So I think we're good on this. So now I'm going to go and just bring white balance down a little bit more to the um, cooler side, just a slight bit more. And bring up my highlights again. My shadows are almost um, at the max. So what I'm going to do is now dodge and burn. And mostly I'm going to dodge this area of the mom because she gets lost a little bit in the shadow there. Since the sun is, you know, coming down this way, her back gets a little bit lost in the shadows. And I'm also going to... Actually, before I do this, I'm going to bring that down because it's a little bit extreme. I don't need that much detail. I still want her to look like her back is in shadow because it is. And then I'm going to um, dodge the back of her hair just to bring a little bit more definition into those strands of hair. Oops going to come back here and erase some of that dodging around her so the clouds so she doesn't have like kind of like that halo around her from the dodging of the clouds and then I'm going to dodge a little bit of the sky and bring out that maybe just dodge him just a slight bit and then I'm going to go ahead and burn right here because it's a little bit on the hot side. And maybe just go in here. And erase around. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just dodge her shirt just a little bit. And maybe boost the contrast. At this point I'm just tweaking things slightly. So I think I'm good with this. And I'll show you, here again is the before, and there is the after, if it will load up and there we go. So let's 
so again, both after, there's the before, and there's the after. If it will, <laughs> it's taking forever. There we go. And that's it.